Well, everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review the Kane Mutiny Court Martial, and this is a new Paramount Plus Showtime original film from the late writer-director William Freakton, and this tells the court martial trial after the Kane Mutiny, the famous story and film, and this focuses on Jason Clark, who plays Greenwald, who's doing the defense of um, Executive Officer Merrick, played by Jake Lacey, as he's put on court-martial trial for mutiny with his commanding officer, Quig, played by Kiefer Sutherland. And this whole entire film is just this courtroom. And it does not leave this room. It's very interesting since Freakton had redid 12 Angry Men, which... I do really like that adaptation, to be perfectly honest, and the cast that they got together for that. What I feel like this film is lacking in, right off the bat, is, like, from a cinematic standpoint, it's a lot of still shots, a lot of close-ups, very saturated lighting. It doesn't look particularly engaging in that way. But luckily, everything else really steps up. The screenplay, this teleplay from William Freakton, is really impressive in terms of not only the dialogue, the sharp dialogue, the characters, because you really understand each of these characters based off of their interactions throughout the film. There's some twists and turns and how this all plays out, coming from the start where we get Kiefer Sutherland's Quig's, you know, recounting of events right off the bat, and slowly peeling back those layers and trying to show is that really what happened? And you have this experience as Jason Clark and Mo Monaco Raymond, who plays the like the prosecutor end of things, who are slowly peeling back the layers, poking holes. You have Lewis Pullman and Jay Duplass added in there as some of the other witnesses. Lance Reddick in one of his last roles, really anchoring as the head of this court. These Each of these characters has layers, and you get to understand their personalities throughout the screenplay, and the way this all plays out is fascinating, and even up to its final scene, which I thought felt, oh, this is just feeling really tacked on, the revelations that this film gives in its final moments, and honestly one of my favorite endings of any film this year, it's something that really hits. I'm extremely impressed by what Freakton was able to do with his script and bringing it to life, and specifically the likes of Jason Clark and Monica Raymond, Lance Reddick, and Kiefer Sutherland and what they were able to do on screen and really bring this to life. This was a fascinating watch, especially for a film that's so confined to one space. It really worked in that way. And I was quite impressed by the experience and highly recommend you go check out this courtroom drama with so many complex layers of the balance of responsibility and also the responsibility of keeping intact the order of law in the Navy and at what point is it most important to do that. And also how this film deals with the complexities of how to argue a case, and what will you sacrifice to win said case. There's so, with that final scene in this film, it had so many more layers, I wanted to rewatch it and just see how that all played out with that new perspective. This film is fascinating, and definitely, definitely a big recommend from me. But those are my thoughts on the Kane Mutiny Court Martial. Let me know what you think and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in, supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.